Hello, I have great news. Today, November 6th, 2020 is National Nachos Day. What an amazing, important day. Um, is there a better food than nachos? I don't think so. I, my favorite food is pie. In my mind, nachos is sort of a pie. The nachos are the crust and everything you put on top is the filling and it's, it's crunchy and just very excited to that we get to celebrate this day. Um, it's been a little while since we have had a video like this and today I am going to be responding to a request from earlier in the year when I asked you what you wanted to see in upcoming videos. Jonah requested um, a look at my workspace or my reading space and suggestions on how to create the best possible work slash reading space. So that is what I have made for you today is, is a, an exploration of my work and reading space. And I have come up with seven to eight, depending on how you feel about number eight suggestions um, as to how to create your own perfect workspace. So here, here we go, without further ado. Have a desk that has enough space. Um, okay, so this is my desk. I bought it on Craigslist more than 10 years ago. It has a feature that I really, really like. I'm gonna show it to you. It's this. I don't know what this is technically for, but I use it as like an extra shelf to put things and also um, my cat, when I need to put my cat somewhere. I don't know what I'd do without this shelf. Know where everything goes. Never go to bed with anything out of place. These are my cups of colors. These are black pens, and these ones are black felt tip pens. Here's color pens. This is black ink. These are all jars of black ink. Uh, white pens brushes. These are colorful pens. Those are uh, pen nibs and markers that are really wet. And then back there we have pencils. This used to be a library card catalog and now it contains the things that I need, such as Scrabble tiles or Dinosaurs, or sea creatures. This one's of tiny, tiny objects. Oh, it's mostly birds and hearts and a bunny. This is my prize shelf. Since nobody's come over in a long time, the prizes have just kind of accumulated. It used to be people would come over a lot and I would give them prizes, but nobody's come over in a while. This is a suitcase I keep full of letters. There are like all actually like a lot of letters. Just most of the letters that I've received since I moved uh, moved in here, which is in a couple of years. But I actually write a lot of letters and I receive a lot of letters. And my cat uh, will sleep on this pile sometimes. Here's Polaroid. I think it's of someone's plants. No, it's of a cat. The book's about craft making. Here we have the paints. There's my ribbon caddy. Who doesn't need a good ribbon caddy? Surround yourself with objects that make you feel joyful. This was a present from my. Um, do 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 do. Best friend in seventh grade, who's still my best friend. Her name is Jessica. It's a music box. Uh-oh. It used to be a music box. This is a set list from a concert. This is a set list from a concert. These are my stamp, my rubber stamps. That was, this used to be a, a typeface drawer. 
This is a calendar that allows you to pop whatever day it is as a bubble pop. This, these are nests uh, on a candelabra that my husband found on the side of the road. Regularly reduce clutter and stuff you don't use. Norman! Hello, Norman. So this is my husband's desk. I have to share space with him, but he doesn't, he doesn't use it. He, he doesn't. God. Have plants. Here's one of my plants. This olive tree seemed to be dead, but I brought it inside and kept watering it. And look, this, this was not, this has grown in the past of like two weeks. Sometimes you think something is dead. But all it needs is a little attention. Here we have more plants. Plants, plants. Here's a um, a terrarium that I made out of a uh, gumball machine. Right now it's busy going through a water cycle. Put things on your walls that you like to look at. My friend Brian drew that picture of me doing a stand-up. These are some flowers. Someone put this in the mail for me. See, it even has a stamp. It came in the mail all soft like that. And let's see, this is a picture of my family at Christmas. We think, we thought that was pretty funny to do that. Um, we, we went to Sears and we all wore matching vests. This is a dental study. I don't even really know what that's for, but I found it at a garage sale for $3 and was like, I better have that. My friend Brian drew this of me too. It's good to have a friend who will draw you so you can have pictures of yourself. For your reading space, make it cozy, away from electronics, and preferably near a window. It is the reading chair. My friend Jessica, who gave me the music box, also knit me this blanket. <laughs> Good to have friends who will knit for you. Um, that's my cat, Puppy. She is reading. Wait. It's... She's reading. She's reading a zine. Puppy! What do you think about zine? Zines are the future. Mm, good point. This is a pillow of my sister when she was a uh, baby. I have four pillows of my sister. All were gifts from Ms. Wassey. The remainder of this is just bonus secret stuff from the rest of my house. And then these are all books about birds. They kind of extend over to here. Although those are mostly about mushrooms. This is my piano. I wish that I played it more, but I'm afraid of people judging me. My favorite board game is one called Wingspan that is about birds. It's not on here. It goes right here. It's well liked enough that it's not here. I also really like this one called Photosynthesis. It's about trees. It's my sister there, baby. This is a pillow that looks like a slice of pie. What is happening? This is while well, we play Mario Kart. It's pretty awesome. It's basically movie theater. It's Miss Wassing's husband's design. These um, like shelves are so the cats can run around on the ceiling. That was very important to me, actually, the ceiling thing. Oh, we have more library drawers. Do you know what's in them? You have a second to guess. Cassette tapes. Here's a mural that I have not quite finished yet. As you can see, the birds are flying into the painting. Do you see this? Wow, this paint, I found this painting in the trash, truly in an alley. This is our wall of other art things and um, my philodendron plant, which um, topples. More plants. Oh, look, another terrarium. It also is sort of busy. It used to be a gumball machine and now it's plants. Okay, plants are really important. They allow us to feel 
life all around us. Look at this wooden crane. I thrifted this large ice cream cone and um, my husband, he said he didn't think we needed it, but obviously we did. That's an air fryer up there. Where are people who like to show up, put things on display? So there's no, everything is able to be seen. This is a drawing my friend Jessica from before made of writers drawn from Boy Meets World telling me that he likes me in italics. See that yellow garage? That's the same color as the house. And there's foot. Can you see foot? I spy foot. Do you? He is moving around. There he goes. Oh, foot. You're so cute. That's actually it for today. Our writer's playground today is going to happen during class, which, as you watch this, has already happened. Uh, so you already played around. Um, that means go enjoy this beautiful weekend. The weather is insane. Like, second summer weather and I'm a summer person sorry to those of you who love sweater I mean you can still wear a sweater the leaves are changing colors changing leaves equals go ahead and wear a sweater I think everybody agrees um and I care about you and I hope that you are that something wonderful happens to you in the next couple of days <laughs> and I'll see you next time bye <laughs>